Hi guys. Today I am putting together a video for all you golfers out there. Um, I've got quite a few golfers in my family, so I thought that they might enjoy this video, specifically my husband. So um, I would suggest we do a lot of shoulder openers in this in this workout, but I would also suggest going over to my shoulder focus class and completing that. It's really good for your shoulders and will help um, with a lot of tightness because we tend to only do one side when we're golfing. So um, if you head over to that, that will make sure that you get both sides of your body balanced and will help you with your golf game. So grab your mat and some water. You can also use some blocks if you have them, if you need them. Um, if you don't have blocks, feel free to use um, some books or something that you can stack. Okay, see you there. We're gonna start seated down on our mat and you can cross your legs. You can put a pillow underneath your hips if you want to. We're gonna focus on our breathing. So go ahead and close your eyes and focus on your natural breathing rate. Keep going with this for a few more breaths. Come to sit at the back of your mat and your legs are going to go out long. If you can't keep your legs straight, you can always keep a bend in your knees here if it's more comfortable for your hamstrings. Pull your left leg into your right thigh and then your right arm is going to hug that left knee. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine and exhale to twist and look over your shoulder. Inhale to lengthen through your spine and exhale, you can find a twist a little bit deeper. Send your left leg out long and pull your right foot in next to your left thigh. Straighten up through your spine. Hug your right knee with your left hand and exhale as you twist. Inhale and lengthen through your spine and exhale as you twist a little bit deeper. And place your legs down on your mat and then come over to all fours. Wrist directly below the shoulders and your knees are going to be directly below your hips in a tabletop position. Take a couple of breaths here and focus on your inhaling and exhaling. On your next inhale, you're going to drop your belly as you gaze up. Sit bones go up to the sky. And on your next exhale, you're going to arch the spine, pull your navel in, and look down between your thighs. Inhale to drop your belly, gaze up, and exhale to arch the spine as you gaze down. Pull your navel into your spine. Inhale to gaze up and drop your belly to the mat. Exhale as you pull your navel into your spine and arch your back. Drop your belly as you inhale. Exhale to arch your spine. Inhale. 
inhale to drop your belly and exhale to arch your spine come to a neutral spine and then walk your hands out in front of you and come down to your forearms forearms are on the mat and then drop your chest and your head down to the mat this is going to open up your shoulders so you'll feel a big stretch in your shoulders right here make sure that you remember to breathe don't hold your breath so if you're in a harder position for your body just breathe deeply through it if you feel any pain please come up out of the pose so that you're not injuring any parts of your body push yourself back up to tabletop pose Reach your left arm up to the sky, and then you're going to thread that through and under your other arm, bringing your cheek down to the mat, and your right arm is going to go up to the top of the mat. Bring your hand back as you push yourself up. And then we're going to lift the right arm up and then thread that arm through under your other arm right cheek comes down to the mat as you send your left hand up to the top of the mat Bring your hand back as you push yourself up. Come back into a tabletop pose. Curl your toes under as you lift your hips up to the sky. And our down dog, it is more important here that you have a straight back. So if you need to bend your knees a lot, that's okay. Keep them bent. Bend your knees here and then walk your feet up to your hands for a forward fold. Feet are hip distance apart. You can bend your knees here if your hamstrings are tight. If you cannot reach the mat, you can use blocks to help in your forward fold. And you're going to relax your head and your neck down, giving the lower back a nice release can also grab your elbows here and just hang and relax your upper body over your thighs. Bend into your knees a lot as you roll up vertebrae by vertebrae very slowly. We're going to come into a mountain pose so I'm just adjusting in the frame so that you can see the pose clearly. So come to stand about hip width distance apart. You're gonna ground down into your feet. Arms are gonna be palm facing outward. And you're going to lift your toes so you can feel your feet grounding down through all four corners of your feet. And then softly put them back down. We'll do this for a couple of breaths. Clasp your hands together above your head. You can stay standing here. I'm just coming down so that you can see me in the frame. Your pointer finger and thumb finger are not clasped together. And then inhale to the center and exhale as you bend to the right. Inhale to the center and exhale as you bend to the right. Inhale to center, exhale and bend to the left. Inhale to center and exhale as you bend to the left inhale back to center and then bring your hands behind your back and clasp them together your hands can be palm apart if that's more comfortable the ultimate goal here is to put your palms together bring them behind you and up as you bend into a forward fold only go as far as your body's comfortable here and you can keep your knees bent as you go up into this pose. Bring your 
bring your arms down and unclasp your hands. Bring them down to the mat for a forward fold. Relax your upper body and your neck and your head. Roll up slowly. Come to stand at the top of your mat. Stand nice and tall at your mat and take a big step back with your left foot. Your right foot is going to have the knee bent, tracking right over your ankle. Your back leg is going to be straight with your heel lifted, toes on the mat. Square your hips to the front of your mat. Send your arms up high and then twist over to your right as you open up your arms. If you're feeling wobbly here, squeeze your inner thighs together and that will help with your balance. Arms come back up and step your left foot back up to your right foot. Right foot's going to step back far behind you. Left knee is bent, tracking over your ankle. Right leg is straight. Engage through your thighs and your core. Send your arms up and twist over to your left as you open up your arms. Arms come back together as your right foot steps up to meet your left foot. And then we're going to come into a chair pose. So big toes go together and heels come apart as we sit back into our hips. Knees are tracking over our ankles. Bring your arms up to prayer. Inhale and exhale as you bring your right elbow to your left knee and twist as you gaze up to the sky. Inhale to center. Exhale as you twist over to your right side with your left elbow. And try to really push your hands to the middle of your chest. Inhale to come back up and exhale as you forward fold. Relax your upper body and you can sway side to side here if that feels good for your hamstrings. Bring your knees down to the mat. Send your legs back, big toes together, and knees come out wide as we go back into our wide-legged child's pose. Melt your chest and your head down to the mat, and your arms come up above your head. If you cannot reach the mat with your head, grab a block to place it underneath your forehead. Focus on your breathing here. A couple more breaths in this position. Bring your hands back as you lift yourself up and you can place your block over to the side if you used one. Come to lay down on your back, on your mat, and we're going to do a reclined pigeon pose. So bring your soles of your feet down to the mat, cross your right ankle over your left knee and push your knee open as much as you can. Keep your legs as they are and lift your left leg off the ground in a 90 degree angle. Thread your hands through underneath your thigh and pull your legs into your chest. Keep your feet flexed and breathe deep here. It will help your muscles to relax. Release your legs back down to the ground and then place your left ankle over your right knee. Push your knee open a couple of times here. Lift your right leg off the ground. 
thread your hands through underneath your thigh. Feet are flexed as you pull your leg down into your chest. Remember to breathe. Deep breaths will help your nervous system to relax so your muscles can relax into this pose. Release your legs back down to the ground and we're gonna come to lie flat on our backs, on our mat in Savasana. Come down flat on your back. You can roll your shoulders underneath of your upper back a little bit. Palms are gonna face up and you're just gonna relax into this position, focusing on your breath. Take a mental scan of your body from head to toe and try to feel what has changed in your body. Maybe you've created some space that wasn't there before. Focus on your breath. Breathe nice and easy at your natural breathing pace. If your mind starts to wander, try to bring your focus back to your breath. Take a couple more breaths in this position and you can stay in this position as long as you would like to but if you're ready to come out you can begin to start wiggling your toes and your fingers Roll over onto your side nice and slow and slowly push yourself back up into a seated position. We're going to end where we began, so close down your eyes and focus on your natural breathing rate. Take a few more deep breaths in this pose. Flutter your eyes open and sit nice and tall through your spine. Thank you guys for joining my yoga class for golfers today. Namaste.